Findings are giving a greater insight into possible immunities against COVID-19. Data from the CDC show a majority of Americans have already contracted the virus since the outbreak began. Alex Littlehales walks through the new research and explains what it means if you've already been infected. Mixed trends is how Dr. Rochelle Walensky describes the current state of the COVID-19 pandemic. They are slowly trending upwards. Death rates nationally may be down, according to the Centers for Disease Control, but hospitalizations and cases are slowly on the rise. Cases, too, has represented an increase of about 25 percent. But the key takeaway from Tuesday's telebriefing is what CDC doctors found out about COVID-19 antibodies. CDC researchers say as of this February, a higher number of Americans developed natural COVID-19 antibodies specifically from being infected. The research estimates the rate of what's called seroprevalence, or the frequency of COVID antibodies, jumped to an estimated 58% of the population. But more antibodies doesn't automatically mean more protection from the virus either. Boosters, in general, give you um, a stronger protection, um, especially against different variants. Dr. Lisa Thengen with the Virginia Department of Health says keeping up to date with the maximum number of doses available gives protections against COVID-19 that natural immunities can offer. An even newer variant known as BA2-121 is believed to have an even higher transmission rate, about 25% higher compared to previous Omicron variants. In Norfolk, I'm Alex Littlehales for 13 News Now. Research also found almost 75% of children younger than 17 had these COVID-19 antibodies.